Alright, so welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. We have a new fella in town. We have the wandering trader. It says he can get a random artifact appropriate for my level. And it's twice as expensive as the blacksmith. See, the thing is, I kind of like the artifacts that I've got on right now. I mean, I need to correct one thing. Done. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to get rid of the fishing rod. And instead, I'm going to go and spunk all of my money over here for a scatter crossbow, which would be great if I didn't have the heart crossbow. Oh, what the hell is this? Wolf armor. Many warriors wear the heads of wolves into battle to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. It is armor. What strikes fear into the hearts of all those what see it? So what, I could just put this on? I mean, I just don't know how Eisenhower feels about this. Well, I guess I'm a furry now. I mean, it's fine. People have been speculating that for years. Spend the rest of what I got. Another evocation robe. More wolf armor. And a trick bow. A sleek bow that seems to never miss its target. I'm listening. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So wait, I think we got a stronger wolf armor. We did actually. Okay, put that on. Salvage this one and get fuck all money in return. I'm going to salvage a lot of stuff here. I'm going to salvage this. And I'm actually going to salvage the glaive because I've got a sword that's kind of stronger. I'm intrigued by this trick bow, though. Let's have a look at this. I'm so confused. How does this thing work? So if I just fire it that way... Okay, I have no idea how this thing works. It seems to actually bounce. And it's got piercing, so it can go through whatever it hits and hit something else. Now, that is interesting. Should I put some enchantments on this sword? After defeating a mob, there is... Can't be asked to read all that. Chance to temporarily stun enemies and deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Uh... There we go. So this should now be doing considerably more damage to something that I've already previously damaged. Archhaven is the one that it's kind of recommending me to go and do, so I guess we'll do that. Yeah, I'll do it on default four. And there you go, we will get started. Also, we had some uh, some pretty good news recently. There was another trailer for the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, just like showing some more stuff that's going to be featured in each one. There's good news and really good news mercenary armor uh yeah okay i mean we take those actually i should correct myself there's good news there's really good news and then there's bad news uh but the zombies aren't exactly gonna stick around to let me explain it so give me a sec okay he didn't die the good news is the dlc looks amazing the really good news is the first part of it isle of armor is actually coming out in two weeks the bad news is that's not today but it is coming out very soon oh hi what's up Oh, we do way more damage. Like, I was hitting him for twice as much once I damaged him. Kill him. Can't be camping in the water. Ugh. See, it's just not... Lag. This bow is so weird. I don't understand how this thing works. Oh, I think I understand. I get it. So I can aim it at something, and then what happens is it tends to hit something and then ricochet to something else. So it's almost like a sort of chain effect. Kind of like that. No. You're not blowing me up, not today. That's actually kind of sick. So what are we saying? What even is the purpose of this level? Reach the village under the cover of darkness. Um, okay. Is this not it? This looks like a village. Ow. Oh, I'm dying. Fucking hell. Okay, we're okay. I'm getting really sick and tired of these skeletons firing one arrow at me and then pussying out. Stop running. Why are you running? What's this other armor I got? This mercenary armor. Yeah, see, it's just not the same. Put my wolf armor back on. And what have we here? It's a strength potion. Okay. And a TNT crate. We take those. Yeah, try and run away now. Find all spells. Okay. I shall do exactly that. Throw all that blow him up. I don't know why I felt the need to use a TNT crate on one spider and one skeleton. Seems like a bit of a waste. And I could have used it on all of these, man. Wait, get a fireworks arrow. Dude, it got sandbagged by the baby zombie. I'm fucking done. Let's try this other thing I got. So that stuns him. 
And now I can just kill him. Okay, that's cool. Eisenhower, Schwanz. See, the fireworks arrow just isn't the same without the heart crossbow. Because when I use it on the heart crossbow, it explodes like three or four times. I mean, thanks for the assist. Very kind of you, sir. Oh, Sonic the Hedge Thief. Oh, I'm stuck. Give me a sec. Renew our Sonicness, our Sonicality. Dude, that ability is actually kind of OP. I wonder if it works on bosses. Whoop. Stunned. Dead. And stunned. Dead. Two out of three spells. Okay. Find the last remaining spell under the cover of darkness. I was born in the darkness. Excuse me, coming through. Where is the last one anyway? It's nowhere near here. I don't know what I'm doing over this way. There's the last one. Grab it. Reach the cave. When they're in El Mario Grabatelli. Let's put this thing back on. Because this thing is just a madness. And see, if I put on the fireworks arrow with this thing... Look how many explosions I get. It's like an actual fireworks display. Imagine going to a display to watch one firework. Oh, that's so much better. What am I even supposed to be doing in this place anyway? I didn't actually get some kind of monologue before this. I didn't get the whole... Explore the cave under the cover of darkness and watch out for the arch illager. Find another exit. Cashier number four, please. Yoink. All right, Eisenhower. See that skeleton over there? Schwanz! What is this? I just find the Ocarina of Time. What is that? Soul crossbow. What the fuck does this thing do? 26 range damage plus soul gathering. Soul crossbow was crafted by the mysterious evokers and enchanters of the woodland mansions. Yeah, but what does it do? I don't bring the wine over to my table and tell me how the fuck it got here. I don't care. Does it taste good? Let's try it out. Okay. Oh, I knew it. I mean, it's kind of powerful. Did you just kill my fucking dog? Oh shit, hold on. Hold on. Kill first, talk shit later. That's it. But I didn't... I'm so confused. And that is a stone cold cup of tea. Chest open zero. Hello? So what do you reckon I just pulled the soul crossbow out of my ass then? What's in the box? A wind horn. When the wind horn echoes throughout the forests of the overworld, the creatures of the night tremble with fear. Oh, that's what it does. So it's like, what, the boom box in Mario Kart 8? In first place, blue shell on the way, no problem. Blacksmith, do you have anything for me, sir? A trick bow. I already have one. Scale mail. Already had some. An axe. Well, at least I'm kind of getting more powerful stuff as I go. Do you know, I don't know if I like the trick bow. It's just not really me. I'm going to get rid of it. Scale mail. I definitely don't want. It seems like I could do some things with this mercenary armor. Whenever you use a healing potion, you also create random food items. Okay. What about the axe? What's this saying? This is a fake axe. I can't cut down trees with it. It's kind of like as you're progressing through this, you're constantly having to just salvage what you have because you get new stuff that's immediately better. I want to get something that I can actually settle with. Set mobs on fire for three seconds. Uh, okay. And then you can upgrade it to make it do more damage. Nine damage per second. So I want 10 damage per second. I feel like the one extra damage per second is barely worth it for three points. Instead, I shall do something with this soul crossbow, such as... Plus 10% damage and plus 21% damage. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Minecraft dungeons, then make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notification bell end. And if you ever want to come and watch me live, I'm on Twitch at xwolfieplays. That's also my TikTok. So thanks as always for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.